All right, our lesson continued. So we're going to place the following integers or the following numbers on the number line along with their opposites. And then we're going to state the distance from zero. So first what we need to do, in the first one we have a positive 5. What is the opposite of positive 5? The opposite of positive 5 is going to be negative 5. So let's plot positive 5 and negative 5 on our number line. Remember, 0 is our um, starting point. If we look, we have 0, space, 2, 4, 6. So what's going to be in between? Yeah, we're just going to count by 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Same thing in our opposite direction. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. All right, so we have that positive 5. We also have that negative 5. Don't forget to plot your points. Now, the new part, distance from 0. Distance from 0. So, when you take a look at this distance from 0, 5, positive 5, is going to be 5 units from 0, right? That is positive. That is 5 units from 0. This is also going to be 5 units from 0 because... There are spaces in between here. It's to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units away from 0. So that is going to be 5 units away, or 5 numbers away. So our distance is going to be just 5. Because that 5, the negative, does not matter. It's just showing the direction. So that negative shows a direction. Negative just shows a direction. So all our distance is going to be is going to be 5. So notice how it's that whole number. Just, or I'm sorry, just the positive of the number. So that distance is going to be 5. Let's take a look at negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is going to be a positive 1. So we have negative 1, we have positive 1. How far away it from 0 is going to be, um, how far away from 0 is going to be that negative 1? and that one. So, oop, there's only one, to, one unit away. So our answer is just going to be one. It's just one unit away from zero. Whether it's in the positive direction or the negative direction, it's still just one unit. This negative just shows the direction. That means below zero. Positive means above zero. Negative means below zero. All right, let's look at this two. Opposite of positive two is negative two. Opposite of positive 2, there's that positive 2, is going to be negative 2. That positive 2 and negative 2 are 2 units away from 0. Just 2 units away. All right, now we have that negative 7. Here's negative 7 all the way over here. And then the opposite of negative 7 is going to be positive 7. So that positive 7 is going to be all the way on the right. Now they are both just 7 units away from 0. Both of them are just 7 units away from 0. Remember, the negative just shows direction. They're not negative 7 units away. It's not, um, it's not showing us that it's going to be negative units. It's just going to be the whole positive number units away. Our positive number here is going to be um, 7. All right, now we're going to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. That means smallest to biggest. So... Least is going to be down here, the farthest away from zero or um, in our negatives. So least and then greatest or biggest. Greatest. Kind of sloppy. I apologize. Um, ooh. Ooh. My bad. All right. So we are going to take a look. We have, first of all, we have that negative seven. Then we have that negative five. Negative 2, negative 1. Now we're in our positives. 1, 2, 5, and 7. So those are going to be our um, numbers in order from least to greatest. Also, if you notice, um, if you kind of fold this in half, you have that 1 and negative 1, 2 and negative 2, 5 and negative 5, 7 and negative 7, just like on our number line. You fold them in half, you fold the number line in half, 
and you get um, the opposites. And that's going to be it for our lesson continued. Great job.